driving over the bridge to Stevensville, going to build a guitar. I don't know what style, what color, what wood, what appointments. I just know it's gonna be awesome. And this bridge is kind of scary to drive on. Don't fall off. Whoa. Hey, that's not funny either. <laughs> You may remember last summer when I put on a virtual guitar camp with Paul Reed Smith. Well, while I was up there, I visited the PRS factory to create a private stock guitar. This was a gift from Paul to me as a part of his thanks for helping put together the guitar camp. By the way, we're doing that again this summer, and it's going to be even bigger and better than last year, so stay tuned for details. If you don't know, Private Stock is the custom shop of PRS, made up of boutique builders with decades, if not centuries, of experience between them. I'll put a link in the description with a video from PRS that explains exactly what Private Stock is if you're interested in learning more. All the woods for the Private Stock guitars are kept in this wood library called the Vault. In here, I spent time choosing the wood for the top of the guitar, the neck, the fretboard, and the headstock veneer. After the wood materials were chosen, we started making customizations, including body shape, colors, fret inlays, and really any detail that you can think of. This was pretty fun. We were literally drawing up my dream guitar. Single cut, 594. You want the Paul Miles charcoal color? What color you want? Either, either, either that black or some sort of purple. Yeah, we haven't done it purple uh, sand out in forever. What I mean, about Northern Lights? I'm thinking, cool I'm thinking like very, very a charcoal purple mix. Very, very yeah, that'd be awesome. Very, you want cracking nitro on it so that it'll crack over time? Mm -hmm. Custom built for Tyler Larson on the back of the neck. This is a private stock through Artist Relations. Pattern vintage is default for 594. Have you ever done different necks on 594? Of course we have. What do you want? I'm thinking pattern thing. Done. Rock and roll, baby. <laughs> baby. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's good. Congratulations. A double. A double. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll ram you. <laughs> it's been a long time coming for this guitar, and I'm so happy to show it to you now. My PRS private stock.
Well, what do you guys think? Those people can really build guitars over in the uh, PRS factory. I'm gonna play the shit out of this guitar and I'm so happy with it. Thank you to Paul and the rest of the team in the private stock area of the PRS factory. You do good work, and if you want the greatest guitar in the world, well, you might have it built by those people. I couldn't be more satisfied with the end result. I figured I would tack on at the end just the specs of this guitar, maybe a couple sounds without the uh, recording, just so you can hear exactly what's going on with this instrument and what makes it so special. I uh, got the spec sheet right here. It is obviously a single cut McCarty 594. The neck wood, I'll start with that because it's kind of mysterious. This is a very rare piece of black rosewood that Paul handpicked just for me. Let's just say you're not gonna find many guitars with this type of neck in the world. The fretboard is a beautiful, amazing, unique piece of exotic ebony, and you saw me pick it up in the footage of the behind the scenes design of this guitar. It was the first piece of fretboard that I picked up, and I just knew that this would look awesome. The binding is curly maple, so you can see that little bit of curly maple, just a beautiful little accent here uh, with the rosewood and ebony. The top is unreal. It's a one piece maple top, and I, again, I knew it right when I picked it up, and Paul agreed with me on this one too. It's the next piece. He's trying one. to see ah. which piece I like better, because it's one of these. This is the better top. Yeah, this is what I thought too. This is the first one I picked up. Don't overthink it. And it does have the cracking nitro finish, so this finish is going to organically check over time, and I just think that is really freaking cool man for the pickups i went with 5815s to kind of accent my other single cut options that i have in my arsenal so just the straight humbucker <laughs> crank up the gain, it just goes haywire. Um, I'm just discovering new parts of this guitar every time I pick it up and it's gonna be a great friend to me for the rest of my life. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for all your support. Almost 10 years ago to the day I graduated from college and uh, I was pursuing a music career. I just didn't know what it was yet. And I uh, just had this guitar to my name. And now I got this one. And it's kind of like a little brother now. Big sister. Little brother, um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just really happy. Till next time. Roasted tops. They take and they overcook the chicken. Mm -hmm. And so you get the, like, the chicken skins cooked. Pretty cool, huh? That's cool. All right. That's really, that's an extraordinary piece of wood.